Do you ask him to stop quoting Hitler? You seem Did fascinated you with questions I've asked other you asked people. Me. I just pointed out to you. Please. Not play a clip of Ben Shapiro calling up. You've done what Joe Biden did with Lester Holt. You've done what Joe Biden did with Lester Holt. Every time Biden. Lester Holt asked Biden a question. I he deflected. Actually, I wish Joe Biden had been more aggressive as I am with you and not put up with bullshit questions about bullseyes. Listen, like I said... You and what, I both agree Joe Biden should be way more aggressive and coherent. Well, we're going so to come to Joe Biden. To Biden. We're going to come to Joe Biden in a moment. But just to be crystal clear, you have no problem with people on the left continuing to call Trump Adolf Hitler or compare him to Hitler. I have no problem with Republicans like J.D. Vance calling Donald Trump Hitler if he mm. talks like Hitler. No, I have no problem with that. <laughs> Hey guys, my name is Devore Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be responding to this uh, interview between Mehdi Hassan and Pierce Morgan. This is on Pierce Morgan Uncensored. And the only reason why I'm doing this video is because I want to show how deranged people are when it comes to President Trump and how sick they are in the mind. And the only reason why this is worth watching is because from a mindset point of view, I don't want you to end up like this person, right? Again, do not become the person that allows people to live rent free in your mind to the point where you cannot objectively respond to things that happen. And so this is just another, I would say, embarrassing clip on his behalf and the double standard that some people on the left have, meaning they want to be respected, but they do not give that same level of respect. So without further ado, you guys already know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. Let's play the video. And what about people on the left, like, including you? I mean, I, I, I'll, should I not? Okay, Piers, I don't understand this question. If Donald Trump quotes Hitler, should I not say that? Should I censor I'm just myself saying, on Piers? If you, if, yeah, if, if you were to say, uh, if, if the title of your article or your statement started with, hey, guys, President Trump quoted Hitler, that would be one thing, right? But they're not doing that. What they're saying is, President Trump is Hitler. That's what they're saying. You genuinely believe no, no, on the no. left that you, you need to be clear with your question. I'm, I'm trying to Should ask I you. Not, no, no, I need to know. I need to understand your question. Should I not say to people that Donald Trump just quoted Hitler? Should I say? No, you better not say that's that. Not what I said. Calling him the new Hitler. Not what I said. I said. Then what should I do? Should Should people on the left continue to compare Trump to Hitler in light of what happened to him if last Trump weekend? Do you think that is part of the violent rhetoric? To, which last should weekend not be is tolerated? irrelevant, Piers. Piers. Oh, go... it's irrelevant. Okay, got it. Got it. So, you know, this is the lack of, you know, him being able to objectively respond to this question, which is, okay, is it okay for people to keep saying that Donald Trump is Hitler, he is the next Hitler, that he likes Hitler, that he resembles Hitler? Do you think that is conducive to having productive debates about policy in America? Right. That's the question that we want people to answer, given the attempted assassination of President Trump. Right. Uh, do we want to continue to use that type of language? Now, freedom of speech is a thing. People are allowed to say whatever they want to say. That's absolutely true. And if you have a platform, you at some level are responsible for what you say. Now, whether you are legally responsible, that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but morally, c could you be responsible for what you say? For sure. And you can't have it both ways, right? You want people to stop inciting violence, but you keep telling people this person is violent, right? That, that doesn't, the math doesn't add up. Okay. And so that's kind of the problem we have right now is, you know, given the assassination attempt, you have people on the left coming out and saying, yeah, we, we need to cool it down. Even the president himself said it. But then they don't set the example of that. Right. And of course, what are they going to say? Oh, well, you know, President Trump, he's still trying to incite violence. He's still saying mean things. OK, so do two wrongs make a right. And in this year, more than ever, Americans want p people that are going to show leadership, show that we are united not care about what happened in the past, stop using violent rhetoric, and just tell us how you're going to solve our problems. And that's what they're missing. They're so caught up in this still. Let's actually check out this other clip. Um, but here's why, here's a, you're, going to not, you're going to get annoyed at me again. Sorry, Piers, I've got to say this. Again, the bias in your question. You say Biden can't string a sentence together, nor can Trump, 
but you never point that out. Oh, we can. That's what bothers me. Oh, we can, me. but that's where that, you're so wrong. Oh, we can. Oh, we can, Kenny. Okay. Oh, we can, I'll, Kenny. Let, yes, do, on Monday, do on Monday one you thing. got really worked up. Do one you, thing. Do one no, thing. No, 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 let me finish an answer, Piers. Can I have one answer? Please. One answer. <laughs> Trump cannot finish sentences. Mm. On Monday, you pointed out that he gets, uh, Biden gets people's names wrong. You don't point out that Trump gets even more people's names wrong. Yeah, before we continue, understand something. President Trump was almost assassinated. And then he went to the RNC convention, okay? And he spoke on the last day for 92 minutes straight. And he was very coherent. You could go watch the clips yourself. But if we were to pull some clips of President Biden, you could tell this guy is delusional. Okay, you could tell that he's not really being objectively true. Okay, is it true that President Trump has said things that didn't add up? Yeah, of course. But you can't say that he's not coherent. You cannot say that he his mental acuity is, you know, not there, but you could definitely say that about President Biden. Uh, and if you want to actually see what that would look like, let me show you really quick. But probably the greatest unifier in America right now is actually the current president, whose latest speech again did very little to inspire. Like America first high speed rail line that's going to take you from Las Vegas to Los Angeles in two hours. Great, <clears throat> over three, three, 30,000 jobs, and guess what? Save billions of tons of, because of, of pollution. Because people, when the, all the studies show, if you can get from point A to point B in a train or a ve vehicle at the same distance, you take the train. <clears throat> what on earth is he talking about? Honestly, I have no idea. Now, assuming. Yeah, neither do I. Neither do I. So let's go back to this other clip here. Trump cannot finish sentences. On Monday, you pointed out that he gets, uh, Biden gets people's names wrong. You don't point out that Trump gets even more people's names wrong. Last year, last month, he said he passed a dementia test. He got the name of the doctor wrong. Instead of saying Ronnie Jackson, he said Ronnie Johnson. He's mm. confused Obama and Biden. He confused Nancy Pelosi and Nikki Haley. He's confused Iraq and Syria. Mm. He confused World War II with World War III. He's confused the leader of Turkey with the leader of uh, Hungary. He's mm. confused the leader of China with the leader of North Korea. He called Tim Cook, Tim Apple, right? And he even got his own running mates name wrong. He called J.D. Vance J.D. Mandel a couple of years back. So Donald Trump gets way more names wrong. He's way more incoherent. He's way more ignorant. This guy would fall in the same category with uh, uh, Doug Christie and um, what's the other guy's name? Um, Chink from the Young Turts. They, they, they can't for the life of them say anything positive or be objectively uh, true about anything when it comes to President Trump. They just can't. They, they cannot whatsoever. And I would say at least 80% of what he just said is missing context, meaning President Trump is a very, he's a very sarcastic person and he has a lot of humor and he will purposely say things that people will take too seriously and th they're not understanding that he said that on purpose, right? That's just what it is. Uh, anyways, um, listen, guys, what's the problem right now is people are so deranged about another person when it comes to politics. And let me give you an example why I think this is so important to talk about. And we're talking about mindset here, right? I do not like Nancy Pelosi. OK, I do not like um, President Biden. I do not respect Kamala Harris. Right. But I don't. I don't spend time at night stressing over them. And I definitely don't make videos sounding like this guy when I am talking about them. I'm just talking about what the facts are. And, you know, and I'll give you even a better example. I'm sure that um, President Biden uh, is a good father to his kids. I like to think so. OK, um, but. You know, saying that he's too old to be the president for the next four years is not really me bagging on the guy. You guys have seen the footage. You watch the debate, right? So I don't have time to go over every little thing about his character and why he's such a bad, bad person. But the media and people like this guy, they have all the time in the world to do it to Trump. And again, they are going to suffer because they've been doing this for the last four years. They're so focused on President Trump, 
that they they they're not doing their job for the American people and they're not delivering the right message to the, to the American people and that's why they will probably lose this election because they've been so focused on that other person over there president trump that is and that's really the lesson here is you, you got to stop focusing on other people that really don't matter in your life because when you do you lose sight of what actually matters which is you doing what you're supposed to do especially when we're talking about your purpose right and so that's where these people lose they come off deranged they come off very emotional and they have no level of uh, object they have no way of being objectively uh, true with anything that that they say. And so that is my mindset. I want to hear what yours is. What do you think about this interview with Pierce Morgan and how this guy reacted to his questions and how deranged he really is? Let me know all of this and more in the comment section below. And I want to say thank you for checking out the video today. I will see you in the next one.